Hello Cancers, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your weekly love reading and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings. All of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what is going on for you guys. Your feelings this week in love, we have the temperance. Your intentions, we have the queen of wands. And your actions and behaviors, we have the nine of wands. Person you're dealing with or will be dealing with, their feelings this week in love, we have the six of pentacles. Their intentions, we have the devil. Sorry to have to cover it up, guys. That just YouTube is kind of ridiculous with the nudity. And then we have the Page of Swords for their actions and behaviors. At the bottom of the deck for the general overall energy of your love situation this week, we have the Eight of Swords. You know, I kind of feel like there's somebody here that you guys are dealing with and you're, I almost feel like you're in a very, a very similar energy where I do feel like both of you guys uh, could be a little bit in your head overthinking this week when it comes to love, okay? Right under this, we do have the page of cups as well. So I do feel like for some of you guys, this is something that is relatively new. Okay, and I feel like you're both feeling hopeful, but also very closely examining it. Okay, like really paying attention to what the other person is saying and just maybe even like picking it apart a little bit. I definitely feel like uh, you guys are both in your head overthinking about things. Now, you're feeling the temperance. So I do feel like you're trying to be patient with yourself. I feel like you guys are you know, trying to heal. You're trying to just kind of allow things to unfold naturally, okay? And just kind of see where something is going or it's meant to go here. Your intention, the Queen of Wands, I think that you are trying to focus on, you know, being happy and being confident. I feel like you are, you know, wanting to go out or socialize or spend time with this person and just, you know, like, you know what, I'm just going to have a good time and see where it goes or see what happens. Like, that's the kind of energy that I feel you in here. I do feel like you could be very attracted to this person or just really enjoy their company. There is something about this person's energy that I do feel um, is either like very fun or lighthearted or peaceful for you. But at the same time, I do feel we have this Nine of Wands here. The Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. And because he's been through so much, he can be a little bit guarded. He can be a little bit distrusting. He has not given up on love. You know, he it's the Nine of Wands is an energy of persistence and like keep trying and keep fighting. So I definitely feel like you're still like trying to be open to love. But at the same time, I do feel like the things that you guys have experienced in love up to this point have gotten you to a place where you are a little bit distrusting. You are a little bit more guarded. You are a little bit cautious, okay? And, and maybe a little bit in your head about things. Now, their energy, the Six of Pentacles, I feel very similar. You know, I feel like this person is feeling like this is something that they want to... Um, give energy to. I feel like they see potential here. The Six of Pentacles can also be a card of planting new seeds. So I do feel like they see the potential here. They want to give to it. They want to see what happens. It's very similar to that temperance energy that we felt with you, Cancer. But I also feel like this person is a little bit cautious about how much to give. Um, and I feel like that's because in the past, maybe this person was somebody who gave and gave and gave a lot and then didn't get that energy reciprocated okay where they were the ones that were giving or sacrificing and they weren't getting that same energy in return from the people that they were dealing with so I do feel like now they're a little bit cautious and um, they could also sense that you are a little bit cautious here cancer so I feel like it's like okay well how much should I give like how much should I push like like trying to do this little delicate dance here with you because I do feel like they are very um, interested, but I also feel like they can sense that you're a little bit cautious and that's making them a little bit cautious. I feel like this devil is just representing the fear to me, especially with the page of swords here as well. To me, this looks like 
their intention is to try to push past the fears that they have, but they also want to confirm that this is different than what they've experienced in the past. So with this Page of Swords, I do feel like this person is going to be very observant this week. They're kind of like watching you. They're looking at the things that you're doing. They're listening to the things that you're saying. It's almost like they are trying to prove that, like disprove all of the red flags. Like they're kind of like checking everything and making sure that this is different than what they've experienced in the past. So I kind of feel like you're both in this very kind of cautious guarded energy, trying to get to know, to know each other, both kind of examining um, the connection and examining the other person. So even though I don't necessarily feel like that is a negative energy, I would say also try to be present in the moment, you know, both trying to just enjoy each other's company and to be present and to just uh, limit our expectations. Sometime I heard this uh, quote, I don't remember who says it. If you guys know, let me know in the comments, but it said, love did not break your heart. Your expectations did. And that always really stuck with me here. So try to just go in and have you know, try to be present, try to enjoy what's here, try to just have a go with the flow kind of attitude and see. So I do feel like you're both very open to new love. I just also feel like you're a little bit guarded. I feel that you guys are a little bit cautious. Um, but just, you know, try to enjoy what is here right in front of you. I do feel like you could be spending time with this person this week or making plans to do so. And I just feel like, you know, this is the beginning phase that you guys are trying to navigate your way through. But the signs that I'm seeing for you guys, you have Gemini, you have, with the Temperance, you have Sagittarius, you have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you have Capricorn, Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Those are the signs that I'm seeing, but it could be any. Okay, but that is what I have for you. I do hope that this helps. Now, if this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just put a little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and I will see you next time.